After starting my channel about two months back, my most popular video that I've seen is, and it actually shows that lots of people actually do want to buy from Rolex and maybe protect Philip, but they want to buy it at retail price from the AD itself. And subsequently, over the next few videos that I posted, I've seen comments that say things like, you know, ADs are bullshit, ADs are just plain the consumers, you know, ADs only sell to the grey market. So welcome back to my channel guys. Today in this video, I'll address the topic, playing the game with the AD, and you know, tell guys some hot facts and realities about the market today. So first up, to address the root of the problem is you need to know what is Rolex or Patek Philippe actually doing. They're actually engaging in a marketing strategy known as scarcity marketing, which is capitalizing on a psychological principle whereby people actually do want things that are difficult to acquire. You know, these brands, they actually know that certain models or products that they do sell actually has a higher demand compared to other products. Well, actually this kind of marketing strategy is actually not uncommon throughout the rest of the world and it's not prevalent just in the watch industry. Um, even in the car industry, Ferrari and Lamborghini actually does this. You know, in the high fashion industry, you know, Hermes does this as well. And even in the consumer sector, you can see Nike actually doing this with their sneakers and such. When I reference those brands and you know what I mean, then you should know that this marketing strategy actually is prevalent in those industries as well. For those of you that wants to know more, do comment down below and I'll further explain in the comment section. So playing the game with the AD. If you watched my previous few videos, I'm pretty sure I explained what is playing the game with the AD. But let me ask you a very simple question. Are you actually playing the game with the AD? To be honest, in my opinion, you're actually not playing the game with the AD, you're actually playing against other buyers or other players who are actually buying watches from the AD as well. The AD's role in all this is that they're just a game master, they're just the facilitator of the game. Just to break it into context, let me just reference a very popular uh, board game, which is Monopoly, whereby spending is just rolling the dice, and when you spend more, you have more chances to roll the dice uh, more often. Getting on the waiting list just means passing go, so the more you spend, you have more chances to be on the waiting list. And still sports model just means properties around the board, and when you have the chance to land on that specific property, you are able to buy them. So going by the logic, you can see that actually no one is playing the game with the AD. What they are doing is that they are playing the game against one another, trying to land on the steel sports model or property that you want. So going to the core of this video, I just want to give some of my opinion on the hard truths and realities that everyone should actually just accept because no one can actually change the fact. Number one is that don't spend your time hating the AD. Nothing you do can actually change the system because regardless of what happens, there will always be bias at the AD. Even the grey market dealers themselves, they are buying from the AD. Point number two is that grey market dealers are just another player in the entire system. Don't hate the grey market dealers as well. I do know that some people do blame the grey market dealers for ruining the entire market. You know, buying all the stock from the AD, you know, hoarding all the steel sports model and you know, jacking up a premium on that. But in my opinion, the grey market dealers are just there to fill a gap in the system. And regardless of what you do, they are just going to be there one way or another. Third point that I'd like to address is that demand and supply dynamics are never going to change for Rolex and Patek Philippe because they have found a niche in their marketing strategy. You need to understand the reason why is there such a high demand in watches from these brands. And the main reason is that they just make damn good watches. And the designs for their models are just so appealing to the general market. Not to mention that their brand has been around for decades and even centuries and that they have built such a strong brand equity that everyone just recognizes what their brand is. Regardless of what Rolex or Patek Philippe does to control their supply, the one fact is that the demand for their watches will always be there and it's just gonna continue growing and growing. And the last point is that, is there a solution for this entire dilemma that everyone is facing? The answer is there are none. If you want watches, you either play the game with the AD or buy the watch from the grey market. Okay guys, this ends the video for today. I know some of the things that I've said might seem a bit forceful, but I'm just trying to address some realities that people should accept and try not to hate on the AD or even the grey market. So what you guys can do is that anytime you see anyone arguing about the AD or the grey market, just send them this video and tell them to suck it up. Okay, thanks for watching guys. If you like the video, please click like. Please support my channel by subscribing and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.